had local reactions this evening to the tragedy. As you'll hear in this report, the family of the deceased has been receiving support. Anthony Log has that story. A member of the Palmer's Cross New Testament Church of God in Palmer's Cross Clarendon told us they had to provide emotional support to Reverend Keith Bulgin on Monday, hours after he got the devastating news that one of his sons had drowned in Massachusetts in the United States. This is indeed very tragic for us. It's a loss for the church, it's a loss for the community, and I would hear say a loss for the country. The deceased has been identified as 26-year-old Tavares Bulgin. It's reported that his body was found sometime after 6 Monday morning. A search is still on for his brother Tavon, who is still missing. Reports are that the Jamaicans were among four persons who on Sunday jumped into the ocean from an area known as the Jaws Bridge in Martha's Vineyard sometime after 11 p.m. Sunday night. Two of the men were rescued, but the brothers remained missing. The brothers were in the U.S. on the work and travel program. Rohan Parkins said the brothers were brilliant young men with a lot of potential. They have been very, very positive children. In fact, Tavan has just completed UE. Tavares completed UTEC. Um, so that speaks for their ambition as it relates to where they could have been anywhere because they have the quality, the manners, the discipline and what it really needs for them to, to, to progress. Meanwhile, reports indicate that troopers will return Tuesday with environmental police officers to continue search for Tavon Bulging using Sidescar sonar technology. Until then, members of the church community say they'll continue to offer support to the family. We share in the loss and we are sharing in the pain also. And our presence here has brought some comfort. We have prayed with them and we are going in one by one, two by two, just to counsel with them and hold their hands up. Anthony Lug, TVJ News.